Hi guys, welcome back to a new tutorial of Tetherboard 3 YOLO object reduction using a pre-trained CNN model. And in previous video we see how to make a cartographer mapping using Tetherboard 3. In this video, we are going to interface in YOLO V3 V4 model with a Tetherboard 3 and we are going to do the real-time object reduction in the gazebo simulation. And for this we need some system requirement like CUDA libraries, NVIDIA GPU. So using that uh, we are going to make a uh, robot to perceive the environment and going to detect the real time object and the simulation object uh, using a YOLO pre-trained V4 model. And for this we need a CUDA library and CUDA DNN library. Is a CUDA DNN library is a library is a full form is a CUDA deep learning neural network. It's a toolkit to make the optimization and the back propagation a convolution neural network and nominating the activation functions are uh, like that such a forward and standard routines to make the provide the high performance standards in the system so it will be useful to make the high performance uh, in the system to make the scene and base application so the CUDA is a toolkit provide the comprehensive uh, approaches in a C and C++ developers to make the optimization and make a good performance in the uh, GPU versions so these two things we need and the GPU also we need uh, before installing the CUDA and then I uh, will see uh, the YOLO is a pre-trained model of CNN1 a conventional neural network right so is a pre-trained model so in that uh, they will already train the models to uh, perceive and detect the obstacles so I already uh, cloned the source codes and I will give those links in my description follow that here you can see the system requirement so like the OS the ROS version uh, I'm using humble and we need a libraries uh, like CUDA and GPU so the OS is Ubuntu is enough I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and the ROS version the GPU as an RTX the 3019 is enough to make uh, this uh, YOLO object reduction version. So these are the system requirement and we'll start with a video of how to interface and Tetherboard 3 with a pre-trained model uh, of YOLO V4. So follow the video. So first uh, we'll go inside the launch file of a dark darknet underscore ROS. So in that uh, we are declaring the nodes to launch. So first we declaring the image uh, image cmd well is a topic of a uh, node to subscribe with a publisher so our turtleboard 3 is going to publishing the information from the turtleboard and this yolo model will be receive the image information from the turtleboard 3 so the turtleboard will be the publisher and our yolo model will be the subscriber so the both will be communicate between using this image underscore raw so this is a topic for the both camera and the YOLO framework to communicate so the path for the weight weights weights is a knowledge right so in YOLO we need a some weights to the by increasing the weights the accuracy of the model will be increased so the uh, we already cloned the weights into our framework so the weights we need to give the path to detect and to launch the argument so we giving the config file path to launch in that config file uh, we need to add a topic of the publisher one so turtlebot 3 is going to publish the information from the camera drive to the yolo so for the camera we have the topic right the topic is an image underscore raw so the topic will be available on config file the, we need to launch the config file at a time when we are going to launch a dark net ROS. So we are giving the ROS parameter file to launch. So the config file is available here, right? So we giving this path to the launch file. Okay. So next is we are declaring the net parameter files to launch. That, that is an a YAML file. So The config file is available here. So here, the config file you can see the topic is uh, image underscore raw the camera. So 
this information will be a uh, transfer between the turtle bot and the yolo framework by using this topic so config file will be send the information to the darknet ras package and we declare this uh, config file right here you can see default value equal to darknet underscore ros underscore share drive plus config ros dot yaml so this is a file config ros underscore dot yaml so we declare to launch defaultly so wait and this is our thing so we are uh, launching the node of darknet ros and executing that and giving the output in the screen so uh, this will be happening uh, by using this launch uh, ROS launch file ROS to launch file. So now we'll start with a video and hands on session. So here uh, now we need to launch a turtle bot. So the turtle bot going to publish the uh, camera image and the camera image will be shared between the YOLO framework by using a topic of the image underscore raw. Okay. So first we'll launch the turtle bot. After adding a gazebo uh, into the turtle boat and we are going to make the YOLO object detection. So the, now we add a gazebo setup within turtle boat and the turtle boat house. So now we are going to launch the YOLO object detection algorithm. So I already explained the config file how we are going to subscribe the and publishing the information from the turtle boat 3 publisher to the YOLO subscriber. So now we open the code editor and we'll enter into the darknet ras repo thing. So in that I already explained this config file structure. So here you can see the topic is camera slash image underscore raw. So open the terminal and type ros to a topic list. So this uh, will be show the what are the topics is running on our uh, gazebo thing. So these are the topics running. Yeah, we already uh, subscribe the YOLO by using this topic. So now, now we enter into the YOLO object reduction thing. So now we enter into the directory of uh, YOLO. First we enter into the ROS2 underscore A and we need to source this directory source install setup dot bash so next we need to enter into the darknet and then darknet ros underscore ros so we can do launch file and then uh, we are going to launch the node of ros thing so ROS, darknet ROS thing. So now, now type launch dotnet underscore dot launch dot pi. So uh, this node will be launched the uh, YOLO thing. you can see uh, it's detecting the obstacles I add as some two bolts cricket bolts so now we launch the turtle uh, teleoperation thing for the turtle board 3 so by pressing the key I am moving the turtle board in front of the obstacle it's showing the output in the display as a sports ball with the percentage right So now it's detecting right, uh, the output is showing in <coughs> terminal. So the ball the, with the percentage is showing. So now we'll open the acuity graph, we'll understand how the information is passing between the turtle board simulation to the YOLO object detection. So now I type the acuity in my terminal, uh, it will take some time to open. So 
once it's open uh, we'll understand how it's going on right so you can see here our keyboard teleoperation is in publisher and using cmd well uh, it's publishing the parameters like velocity acceleration to the turtle boat driver so first is this is a publisher the teleo twisty keyboard and this is a topic using this topic uh, we are going to control the turtle boat so here we have the camera driver and the camera driver have a topic as an camera and uh, slash image underscore raw so this topic will be subscribe to the dot net so the camera driver informations will be passed through this topic and is going to the dot net ROS the framework of YOLO okay so now the output is showing on the sports ball so this is a thing uh, YOLO uh, but we needed some system recommend I uh, previously uh, uh, set right so this is a matter you need a system requirement like GPU, CUDA, the NVIDIA libraries so after that you can clone these from my github repository or I will give the github repository link in my description follow that and for this is in starting and we'll start with then how to do the object following and obstacle avoidance using a .NET ROS YOLO framework thank you we'll continue this video with an new